Come on, y'all. This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another 2021 NASCAR Diecast review, and it is going to be on biased alert. This is a biased alert. It is going to be on my favorite NASCAR driver, so this is going to be my guy right here. Oh, yeah. It is on Martin Truex Jr., 2021 Reesers, Fine Foods, Toyota Camry, for Joe Gibbs Racing. My goodness, guys. This is actually surprisingly a very awesome looking diecast that I picked up from my recent haul video from Circle B Diecast. By the way, use the promo code OBYT. Get that free shipping. Um, if you order $20 and above, because who does love saving money? But they also do have a metal chassis diecast of this, which is uh, which is already out now in the third wave for the metal chassis cars, which is cool because you know me being a Trix man, I'm going to have both. But let's go and kick up this diecast review and the official unboxing of this beautiful red and black Toyota Camry of the Martin Truex Jr. 2021 Reesers car. Alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of the box, and let me tell you what, this thing, <laughs> wow, I mean, the diecast renders, some of them usually don't really do their justice, and when I first saw this, I was like, oh, okay, this is a cool looking car, I guess, and then I saw this car in person, especially at the Dover race, and let me tell you what, man, um, this thing was pretty damn cool to look at, I mean, as much as I wanted to see the Bass Pro and the Auto Owner scheme, I mean, for what it looks like, I think he drove the Reesers car, I think, at, uh, what, like, at all four of the, uh, races that were at the Northeast, so, you know, the first, I think it was at, at the, the first or the second Pocono race, um, one of those Pocono races, but Dover, of course, um, New Hampshire, uh, he drove like a picnic special car, which I mean, wasn't the best looking paint scheme in my opinion, but it's a freaking picnic table. So of course, and, um, Watkins Glen as well. So, I mean, a lot, a lot of the, you know, the Northeastern people really got a, a love for this car and I kind of like it now guys. Cause, uh, th this is a, it's a, such a simple looking car, but it looks good i mean the grainy on it looks well and you know me i love red and black red black and white and those are my channel color logos so this diecast already just looks awesome right here but i will say though i mean the only thing that looks kind of odd is that there's just a big space right here with the where the quarter where, where the uh, the logos are i mean usually we have the Reese's logo that's right there but since it's on right here i mean i guess that's cool and now, I think the million dollar question of the day, I think a lot of people want to know, what the hell's a Reesers? I mean, this is something, a question that my good friend Diecast Buffet brought up, and I kind of did some research. Well, I was at Publix the other day, and I noticed I finally found a Reesers product. Turns out they have, uh, they're basically like a, a grocery store line that sells like prepared stuff, like potato salad and macaroni and cheese and all sorts of good stuff. I mean, um, they, what, what I got in my fridge right now is actually what, like uh, some... Uh, like what like uh like what was it like some diced dill potatoes or something like that like i don't know like um something like that which looks cool i guess because you know me i gotta sponsor i gotta i gotta help out all the sponsorships that i can guys uh since you know i'm a truex fan i definitely have to uh you know buy some of their products so you know i'll let you guys know if that is any good or not but yeah this has been a long time sponsor actually that's been around with joe gibbs for quite a while dating all the way back with uh in the Xfinity Series days with Matt Kenseth and um, Eric Jones. I mean, we did have a few of those cars that came out in 2015 or such. But, um, and what, like, this paint scheme is pretty much exactly like Eric Jones's scheme from last year. But I think the only difference I see is that, of course, it's 19 and Truex. But I think they switched to where the Reesers logo is and where, uh, where the uh, this potato salad is right here. They It was on the opposite end, so they kind of switched it. Which, you know, looks a lot more better in my opinion, but just... I, I think the main reason why I like this car is just that just it's simple, but it works, especially since I saw this guy, um, you know, ran this car twice, technically, I mean, with the sponsorship, but I definitely prefer this car over the ugly picnic car. I mean, if, if I had to say, I, I don't know what I think between, I don't know what's the worst looking Truex car we've had. It, it was probably the car that he ran in New Hampshire with the research picnic scheme. Or the car that he ran at the uh, Bristol Night Race. I was not a big fan of that Bass Pro Shop Sherry Strong Collaborative Scheme. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably have to comment below. Where I'll have to probably give you guys an update on that. But um, definitely by far a better paint scheme than what he ran in New Hampshire. That's for certain. Um, it's a shame that he couldn't actually get any good runs. He has he has not. I mean, Truex, is, it's been a good season so far for Martin Truex Jr., guys. He's had four wins, 11 top fives, 17 top tens. An average finish of 11.8 and only one DNF. I'm uploading this before the Roval race, so maybe that will change. His only wreck came at the Coda race, which, goodness gracious, I mean, I know a lot of people make memes about that wreck, but let me tell you what, man, I was pretty quite scared being a Truex fan because I was like, goodness gracious, that was a hard wreck. I hope to God he was okay. And he was. 
Um, don't get me wrong, I love the memes, but just, man, during that day, I just, I don't know, felt a little sick to my stomach seeing, uh, <laughs> seeing that stuff play out because, I mean, that, when, when there's big wrecks that happen at, at, at NASCAR races, especially with the clusterfuck we had in Austin, I mean, that's where I draw my line. But, yeah, I think so far his best finish he's had in this car, if I remember correctly, uh, so let's see if, uh, yeah, he started on the pole in this car at Dover, and, uh, yeah, he had some issues with this car. Um, I think he led only, like, 16 laps or so. Um, finished 19th, ironically, <laughs> in the 19 car. Um, and then the second Pocono race, he started third and finished 11th, so hasn't really had the best luck with the Reese's car. Started second at the New Hampshire race and finished 12th, goodness gracious, and started uh, ninth in this car at Watkins Glen and finished third, so, you know, Pretty typical of Truex finishing in the top three at Watkins Glen. Um, it's a shame I wasn't there, but heck, it is what it is. Larson and Chase Elliott were basically duking it out. But um, this is a, it's like I said, it's such a simple paint scheme, but I like it. And if you guys like your foods, and comment below if you guys have had Reese's fine foods, and tell me uh, I don't know like if there's any good products that they have. I mean, I will be trying their uh, their uh, their uh, their, um, their their diced potatoes because I'm a big fan of diced potatoes. Um, but yeah, just. Well, look at Nikes, guys. I mean, it, it really goes well. I, I really do like this. It's simple, clean. The red looks nice. The black looks nice. The gradient actually looks nice. Usually, I thought Lionel would screw up the gradient, but it's just so simple. It really stands out. Reese's on the back. Look at that gradient right there. And we got make dinner memorable. So, I guess they do like uh, dinner kits right there. What is that? Like macaroni and cheese. Doesn't look too bad. For some odd reason, I thought they just only sold potato salad. And to be honest with you guys, I think potato salad is kind of disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. Just I like potatoes, but not in the consistency of that with potato salad. Isn't that like something that old people eat, I think? I don't know. All right. I'm probably being too, you know, redundant and offensive right now. But whatever, though. Um, This is a cool look at iCast. I'm probably going to stop rambling on and just say, if you're a Truex fan, absolutely 100% get this diecast because we have not had a Truex research car yet. And uh, I'll be damned if you guys don't get this in the metal chassis version um, as well, which I will. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of the Martin Truex Jr. 2021 Reese's Fine Foods to Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB, the hardcore Martin Truex Jr. fan. Signing off for now. Godly almighty, I love this car.